What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of my right botanicals here. We plant seeds to help you improve your mind, body, and spirit. <clears throat> so let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who the Holy Spirit wants to use to get out a message for the collective. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform. I truly appreciate all of y'all's support. And let's see. Holy Spirit, which king or queen, zodiac or element, Holy Spirit, Aquarius. Hadn't seen Aquarius in a minute. So let's see what the messages are surrounding Aquarius. Air sign, energy, Holy Spirit, what is it that you would like? For the collective to know surrounding Aquarius, air sign energy at this time, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. We are very grateful and thankful, Holy Spirit, for all of the insight and wisdom that you have provided us with. There's an Aquarius who wants to get a revenge against the high priestess. I just seen it. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that immediate clarity. But what else do we need to know, please and thank you? There's an Aquarius who wants to get revenge on a high priestess energy. What else here, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. What else do we need to know? Protection. Okay. But this Pisces high priestess energy I'm picking up on is protected from this Aquarius. If this Aquarius try to do any spell work on you, her ass going to get sick. So it's a feminine. Her ass going to get sick. Because, see, that's what she planning on doing. And this ain't her first rodeo with trying to put voodoo on you, okay? But the host should know when to let it go for good. Because at this point, all that magic that they be doing be making they ass fucking crazy. Not you, okay? It's an Aquarius that's doing this. Pause. Holy Spirit. Who is... Who is Trying to put voodoo on somebody and don't know when to let it go for good. But I ain't even finna be playing no guessing game through the reading, child. Who doing this, Holy Spirit? Just cut the deck on the Queen of Swords, Three of Wands. I'm telling you, it's an Aquarius. Out here thinks she finna get revenge on some damn body and ass finna go crazy playing around in that damn devilment. Okay. Who clarify those for us, please, and thank you. Who playing in voodoo, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Who playing in this voodoo? We got ten of cups. I'm five of swords. I, I, you know, I can't make it up. It's a damn Aquarius who wants to put magic on a Pisces and affect their future. But that ass gonna be restricted. Okay, not this Ten of Cups. Because we're going to leave this right here now. Because that's exactly what's happening. Seven of Swords right behind that. Trying to send some sort of dark energy. Look at this. Towards this Ten of Cups to restrict their life and cause loss for them. But that ass is going to get fucked up. Not this damn Ten of Cups. This Ten of Cups is going to be in the Queen of Wands. Free of any restrictions and effort to hurt or harm her. That's what's going to happen now. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit, for clearing that up real quick. Because people swear you be trying to pick on damn signs like you fucking immature and you a child and shit. Okay, because ain't no picking on no sign or showing no favoritism to a sign. It's it's millions of people out here. And this whole really need to stop playing in the spell work. Y'all y'all got to get that magic up, honey. <clears throat> my throat, it don't even make no type of sense. How my throat doing? That's how much magic this Aquarius is trying to do to affect this Pisces. And ass going to be in the damn crazy house. Ass already crazy. Okay? Trying to make somebody take a permanent vacation. She gonna send herself on a mandatory one. Okay? 
That's what I'm hearing. This Ten of Cups may be planning on going on vacation. But even if she ain't, she in this energy, she not messing with this person. That's what I be talking about. She got her priorities in order and it doesn't include anything associated with this energy. <clears throat> That's coming for her. This person is really in possibly working on their health, working on their, their lifestyle, doing better. They ain't thinking about nothing that just got this Aquarius perturbed and in her metaphysical bag. And the universe is trying to warn this Aquarius who thinks she ain't never going to give up on coming for this Ten of Cups. That the future ain't looking that bright for her. Okay? They waiting for her to do this dumb shit so she can get judged next. That's what I just heard. They waiting on her to try to send some sort of stank ass pestilence towards you so that they can call judgment on her for it. Whatever is plaguing and perturbing this Aquarius, she need to go read some scripture about it instead of fucking with you because you ain't worried about her. Your ass probably be somewhere reading scripture. Whoever this Ten of Cups is, they on some sort of soul spiritual journey, okay? They are truly locked in with self-improvement, okay? Self-love and self-care. They not thinking about whatever this Aquarius is hung up on. That's the furthest thing from their mind. And this Aquarius is upset because somebody <clears throat> has been going back and forth about this Ten of Cups. Clarify, Holy Spirit. They see, look, child, I can't make it up, child. So whoever this Aquarius is connected to, this person <clears throat> wants to connect with this Pisces Okay, but they got their own low vibrational hangups that is stopping them from doing it. And those low vibrational hangups is also why they are still connected to this Aquarius because that voodoo that she be doing, she doing it on them too. Okay, and that's why she's trying to affect you, whoever you are, this Ten of Cups. So that they won't be available if this person has a change of heart. You, this unicorn energy. This Ten of Cups. That's a, that, that card has a rainbow on it. Unicorns give me rainbow energy. And I ain't talking about LBGTQ. I'm talking about the promises that God has for this person if they continue on their divine path. And that's what they're focused on. That's what sets them apart. Okay? Whether this third party can see it or not, they are embracing who they are and they're stepping into their authenticity with this unicorn energy. I'm telling you, this person is focused on their future. They ain't focused on who want them, who don't want them, who mad because somebody might want them. So this Aquarius don't need to come for somebody if they ain't sending for her. And that's what the universe is trying to tell her at this time. The universe is trying to let her know, look, give it up already. Because it's something about Somebody going to get put on a cycle, they keep it up with this magic here. We had crazy and vacation because this unicorn energy, this queen of wands, ten of cups, she finna be free and absolved from this magic, this voodoo that this Aquarius is about to send at her. Hit, this hit man vibes energy that she in, this queen of wands is absolved from that. 
I'm telling you now. And I don't know how this Aquarius is going to fuck around and find out. But it might result in them being on some sort of cycle, being ordered on something because of their behavior. It's something here because like I said, this rainbow energy I'm getting off this Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups, Unicorn energy, it's because she is embracing her spirituality. She is embracing her divine walk with the Most High God. She is embracing the promises that the Most High God has for her. She ain't got time for this dumb shit. I'm, look, but I'm telling you now, this Aquarius gonna fuck around and be in a psych ward. Y'all think I'm playing. I know what I'm picking up on. That's what that four, four of pentacles and that eight of swords is. Her ass gonna be the one locked up. Locked down. Not this queen of wands. Her ass is going to be the sacrifice, not this queen of wands. Okay. Anything else, Holy Spirit, anything else we need to know about this situation? Because this queen of wands, 10 of cups is operating in love. She ain't coming for nobody. She ain't jealous or envious of anyone she is on a solo independent journey that is centered around loving herself and loving where the holy spirit is leading her this woman is enjoying and embracing this new lifestyle she feels better she looks better and it's something like this Aquarius may, may be already carrying some sort of STD. I don't know if she's trying to do some magic to pass that off, some sort of pestilence to this Queen of Wands. I don't know what the hell she thinks she's doing, but it's not going to work. That's what the universe is trying to let her know because it, it's, really, it's really giving 5150. It's get really given 20 days minimum inpatient care because somebody finna go show their ass so bad that the judge is gonna order them to be locked up on a psycho. That's what this Aquarius is about to do because see, whoever that third party is that has feelings for this Queen of Wands and wants to partner with her, but they, they torn now, they conflicted. They got some sort of colorism issue going on as well. Okay, but they, they want this Queen of Wands. And I feel like they're going to, they've already been alluding to that. They've already been telling this Aquarius something to the effect that they are interested in this other woman. That's what I just heard. Testimony, child, I'm telling you. They've already been expressing themselves about this good witch queen of wands energy and how they feel like they should do the right thing by this person because they have a past life connection to them okay and whoever this is even though that magic has been magicking on them to a certain extent to keep them in some sort of connection with this aquarius they over it and they over her Okay, they actually feel like it's quite strange that they still are connected to her because it's some I'm telling you, it's some energy like you could have Leo on your chart. It's like this person thinks that you are their happiness. It's weird because they be flip flopping, but that's that spiritual manipulation. And it's something like Whatever the spell is that's over them, it's supposed to make them feel like you ain't good enough. Okay? That's what it is now. Whatever this Aquarius has put on this masculine is to make you, is to make them feel like you ain't good enough. But it has not been able to stop their desire for you. Okay? And this hoe going to end up 
on a 5150. Because I've been saying that since the beginning of the reading. I didn't pick that up now. Because she about to flip out. Because this masculine is going to fuck around and tell her that despite her candle work, he still has a very, very prominent weakness for this Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups. And he want to be with her. And this woman finna flip on him in such a way that she go, she finna lose her shit. She finna lose her mind about this man leaving her alone for good and coming towards you. And he gonna tell her that's what he doing too. He already been telling her something like he want to be with you. That he's been receiving signs and synchronicities that is leading him towards you, that is guiding him in your direction. This is somebody's past life soulmate, divine counterpart who was out here being a Mac energy, but they didn't woke up. They waking up even more. They could be using essential oils. And if they're doing anything to help heal their mind, body, and spirit, that also is breaking down the foundation that that spell work built, that faulty foundation. So if this person has been trying to clear their chakras using essential oils, get their chakras in alignment, it's going to knock that spell work out of whack now. The life ahead. And this, this MAC energy has been thinking about who he really supposed to be with, who he should be partnering with. And it's not just Aquarius. Final messages, Holy Spirit. Virgo. He could be a Virgo. Earth angel energy. Because see, he divine too. That's why he waking up. That's why, because she's on her journey, it... This is one of them that because she's on her divine journey, even though they're not having their journey together, it's triggering him to get on his journey. They're mirroring each other. So this energy of trying to be in a Mac vibe and have some fun and not really take life seriously like he's been doing with this Aquarius. He wants a change of pace. He wants stability. We have hidden helpers all around. And there may be people who are have been encouraging him to really assess his life and who he's partnering with and make some necessary changes. Yes. Yes, there are people who have been encouraging him to get his shit together. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Because this Aquarius is evil. And if she do this damn spell work on you, she gonna drop next. Because you better believe this ain't her first time, like I said before, coming for you. So whatever she's done to come for you in the past, that shit did not work out. Whoever partnered with her, to come for you in the past. They ask God blotted out of the picture and she next. And it might be time to call for judgment. Now that you're aware that that's the type of shit she owned. Cause this man is healing and he want to be with his twin flame, his past life soulmate. Girl, give it up. Give it up now. Because you're going to end up on a cycle. This, this Aquarius is going to end up locked down in a psychiatric hospital if she do this voodoo on you. But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.